The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad and I've got my little man in black guy from Westworld here. And that's because I'm going to be opening up Great Western Trail Argentina. Now this is another game that is set in the Great Western Trail uh, series of games. So I really don't know a lot about this one. So I'm very curious to see how this compares to the original. So let's just check it out. Alrighty. So you can see the artwork on the front of the box there. And Turn it over to the back side. Travel the plains with your cattle to create the best path to victory. So the board looks pretty similar to the uh, original Great Western Trail, or the base in the second edition. So let's just go ahead and open this up. So we'll insert from Plan B Games. Here is the rule book. So a good size rule book. See our component list. Three city maps. Game board setup. The object of the game. I think that's to win. So phase B. Phase C. Our actions. I really like the artwork they've got in the real book as well. Move your engine forward. Gain one objective card. Help one or more Yeah, I'm not even going to butcher that one. Perform one single or one double auxiliary action. And end of game. And you can see the general notes and special cases. So then we also have an appendix. So neutral buildings. This actually folds it up. Here. So you can see private buildings A and private buildings B. And then on the back, we have other actions. And we have a way of a gaucho, and here's the setup. So that's for a solo game. Gameplay, Pedro's movement, Pedro's actions. All right, now we get to the board. And the board looks very colorful. I'm going to set this aside for the moment, and we'll come back to that. Look at the player boards here. So these are nice and thick. Um, you can see the thickness of these there. So these are very nice. And nothing on the backs. But in... Um, the normal Great Western Trail, you only have three slots, and here you have four that you're going to be putting your workers, or the, the ones you hire. So we have yellow, white, blue, and red are the player colors there. And we have a little sideboard here. Oh, nice. So we got... Uh, Little uh, cloth or linen baggies here so for our tokens, so A, B, and C. That's nice. Got a score pad and a nice little spot for that in the insert there. We have two decks of cards. Here you can see our cattle cards. Open those up in a minute. 
Uh, we've got the little cowboy hats like we do in the second edition of the base game. So those look like the same uh, ones we had there. Our little wooden meeples here. As you can see, there's our trains, there's our cowboys. We're going to put our hats on. So the different colors there. Um, looks like we just have in here, we have our um, normal wooden discs that we're going to be placing on our boards and then placing them, removing them from our boards and putting them on the main board. But those look just like uh, the ones that we have in the base game. Let me get this out of the way and I'm going to show the game board off first. So nothing on the back here. Looks like it's about the same size as the base game. Get that focus there. Let me get these out of the way so I can show this off a little bit better. So, a uh, little different because in the base game, we have the water that goes along here. Um, in fact, where is our starting location? Because we have... Uh, this is a very different path than uh, what we have in the base game. But you do want something that's different. You don't want just the same game. You want to basically have the same kind of look and feel, but uh, a completely different game experience. So the board looks cool. Uh, I'm very excited to learn how uh, we're going to play that. So now let's get to opening these two decks of cards. So we have a couple of different uh, backings here. So we have this grouping, which you'll see we have uh, red, yellow, and green going from one to four. And those cards look like this. They have anchors on them and they're different colors there. In fact, if you look at the backs here, you can see the anchors correspond to the different colors, which are not necessarily the ones that um, uh, we're with those colors up here. So this is all green, but you can see that we have like purple and yellow and all that. So just want to show that that's a little different. Again, I've not played this, so I don't really know what these are. Just want to show them off. And then also in that deck, uh, with a very similar backing, but no markings up in that corner, we have these and there's, uh, numbers, all the way up to 15. These may be for the solo play, I'm not really sure. And then the rest of that deck had these backings. Now, these are the cattle cards and they look like the ones in the, uh, the base game. I keep saying base game, but I mean just normal Great Western Trail. So you can see the different ones that we have. Bunch of different gold cards. And then that second deck of cards, again, all have the same backing. And so here are more of the um, cattle cards. And kind of like the uh, the base game of Great Western Trail, you can see we, I think these are the starting cards for the players. They, they all have the that color down at the bottom. So there's the blues, here's the reds, white, and yellow. And then there are some more. So ones and two cattles. And then now we're getting into the ones that have kind of the white board background there as opposed to the dark background. So Again, not sure if these are supposed to be all broken down. Maybe they are. That's quite a bit, because then we have these. 
uh, that don't have that. And you would think these are the ones that we're going to be buying through the game. So pretty cool artwork. And we saw those on that other deck. So that is all the components for Great Western Trail Argentina. Uh, this is going to be one I'll have to get with my gaming group on um, because Megan isn't really into the Western themed games, but I do know that they are excited to uh, see and play this as well. So we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like and subscribe button. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at Dad and Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.